sure. Okay, let's get it done. a bedroom third one and over here once this is lifted up this is a another bedroom so that's the size of that so this is quite wide that takes you so there's an opportunity you can add a bedroom in this area here if you want to but we have the porch over there this is the side bedroom attached now and Sort of go in there it is so this is a bedroom and then you got these bedrooms over here Okay, so thanks for coming. We need to weather our tent. This is a brand new tent and it's made from poly cotton, which is got some cotton in it. Um, and straight out the factory, the cotton is, um, hasn't, hasn't quite got its weatherproofing. So these, these premium tents, they need to be weathered. And that means basically pouring it, loads of water on it, letting it dry, letting the cotton expand to absorb the water and get the weathering and the waterproofing um, that it's designed to have. So what's really important is that you put out all the guy ropes so that they're not touching the sides of the tent, that you peg in everything all the way around the tent and you put you, you and you stretch the tent out as much as you can so that the, the surfaces are taut. Once you've wet it and you've covered all the tent with the water um, let it dry and then do this once it's dry do it again and do that a couple of times maybe two to three times to just help the cotton get uh, into a natural position okay so one of the things that I really like about this tent is this carpet that comes with it it's really nice it's really soft and it's got a waterproof and thermally um, reflective surface so it helps keep you extra warm and it's conveniently what's well, sensibly called a snug rug so it's snug um, another thing I really like about this in this side annex over here you 
got a. Um, you can either put an extra sleeping area, or it comes with a pole for hanging your wet clothes. So this area you could has is your mud room, and then you can hang your clothes here before everybody goes inside the tent, which is pretty cool. And it's first top. <laughs> It's got some really cool features with the doors as well. So these doors, they can stretch the full length, but they have these little clips. That makes it part basically stops the door from opening at a certain point. But if I unclip it, then I can make it much bigger. And it's the same for the main entrance as well. You've got really great handy pockets, big. I mean, you can put a whole A4 sheet of paper in here and there's plenty of pockets inside these inner chambers. We mentioned this before, but it's got lots of fixing points. Velcro straps for putting on lights, hanging things that maybe have Velcro attachments. So I know that Outdoor Revolution do their own little um, pocket things that you can strap on here, but you can add your own if you've got Velcro. Um, so your, your, your storage options are quite extensive really with this, so just all of the various places you can fit, fit things and every beam has that. You've also got clearly labeled input for your electric if you need that and even the carpet has an electric input in it too so you can thread your cable underneath and have your cable come out through the middle of your carpet which is kind of fun and nobody will be tripping over wires okay so my biggest bugbear with this tent is not the tent itself but actually the bag that the tent comes in this thing for want of a better word is rubbish um, I mean it's a it's a heavy duty fabric and the fabric itself is not really a problem looks like it's waterproof and all the rest of it it's just that is the handles there's one for a tent that weighs 65 kilos uh, you, you need sturdy supports and sturdy things to be able to manhandle this bag in and out of your car into your shed or garage or wherever you're storing it um, and, and getting it places is difficult and oh, it's got this very one small handle here which is the towing handle. On the back, it doesn't have a handle at all. No handle. It's got two wheels, okay, that's nice. If the ground is flat and concrete, but it's, they're useless in mud, you don't want to be dragging this over mud or, or grass or anything wet. It's just gonna be really unpleasant. It's got some reinforcements underneath, but I don't feel like they do much. They're not you know, this thing bends a lot um, and certainly didn't give me any comfort when I was trying to lift it. Okay, and finally, the there are two straps at the top, but I'm not Superman. I, I'm not going to be able to lift this tent up like that practically on my own. Um, we, we, we just about make it work, but it's not it's not the best in the world. So I would prefer to have two handles on both sides here and here. And I would prefer to have maybe three wheels on the bottom and possibly a third one of these in the middle, just for that extra bit of reinforcement. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm not, there's no way to secure the tent inside. The bag itself doesn't allow easy 
put back in so we haven't put this tent away yet so I might have even more problems with this bag later on but putting it back in cleanly and smoothly might be quite difficult because there's no I have to somehow get the huge tent in to this bag and then get the bag over it and in it and all the rest it's going to be quite challenging so this bag really is the worst part of this tent so far it, even, it doesn't even have those buckles so no. even the Christmas tree bag it's got the almost like the seat belt yeah for yeah, yeah yeah so other bags I've seen they've got they've got a method of actually securing the tent in t inside and then compacting it down but this I mean granted the tent fills this bag it's there's not any spare space in here for the pump for instance the pump is totally separate to this bag which is another point the bag really should probably include the pump I guess um, it is a big pump so maybe that's not feasible but you know it's not the end of the world either it's just it's just a gripe so I'm probably gonna end up buying another bag because this thing sucks mm -hmm. and those straps are very thin I'm surprised at how narrow mm -hmm. the straps are for a full yeah, so 65 kg that's a good point as well picking up I mean this one luckily it's got a nice padding on it this side doesn't so yeah I can I can do this and, and do it together and that's probably how you're supposed to actually lift it up but how though it's it's uh lifting it like that's not great and you know again two straps so that you know two people can lift it easily and, and, and manipulate this very large bag wouldn't be for the price of this ten not a hard not, not something that you wouldn't want or you know it's not going to be a great expense is it but it really does impact the um, experience okay so what I really like uh, about this having come from Coleman tents um, is these guy ropes are they're really nice they they've got this really interesting mechanism that's really easy to use to tighten or to loosen um, the, the string it says <laughs> that you know how to loosen them now there you go it's easy it just sort of goes up it goes down and it clicks into place and it's it's really really nice um, also there you can't probably can't see them easily but they've got reflective beading on the on the lanyard no, I can't see it, can't see it. Yeah. but there is there is this reflective beading on there which at night time shows up and also when it's wet is nice okay the other thing I really like relatively speaking to the tents that I've seen with much cheaper tents is how thick these given tent poles are Th those are those are substantial at least you know that the thickness seems to be twice as thick as the standard tent poles that I've got in the past um, the, obviously you know more more professional campers are going to want to replace these anyway with something a bit easier to use but I think this is a nice touch they didn't necessarily have to give us substantial poles like this okay another really nice feature is these air vents I'm not 100% happy with them but I like the fact that they're there and there's so many of them so these allow you to get air in cooler air from the bottom so obviously heat rises so cooler air is going to be at the bottom of the ground and this allows you to ventilate your tent nicely without having water ingress. Um, I, I'm not sure about these straps, but the, you know the Velcro and, and all the rest of it seems to be a bit fussy. But maybe that's just something that I've done wrong. Uh, Outdoor Revolution call their airframe an oxygen airframe. I'm not really sure what that means, other than it's air beam or whatever. But you've got a a, a socket here. They call it proprietary, uh, I think it's proprietary, but I'm not sure exactly, but it's, it's got this little neat little um, pump here, which the pump connects to and locks into place, and then you use the pump to, to blow up the air beam. And then it just gets covered over with this and locked into place like that. It's very neat. And then this just tucks away and it's almost invisible. We haven't actually got the porch out yet or the, the front extension, but this is where it would connect to. Got a zipper that it must zip into. 
and then a cover that I guess gives it a weatherproofing. And then that will go forward. The one thing we didn't buy for this uh, is the sun uh, visor shade thing, I guess. Uh, it's like a porch or veranda. It's what, it comes out and it straps into these little hooks. And then it comes out a good meter or two, no, maybe it's about here. And it gives you a nice area to sit out under and cover, um, but not inside your tent. But we felt it's a bit, we've already got a massive tent that we need it right now. We'll see. Okay, so following on from the saga with the tent and the bag, I decided before we put the tent away, I'm going to order a new bag, okay? And what I've done is I've ordered the Van Gogh uh, Smart Roller Bag, and that's it's just arrived. So let's have a look at it. Oh, it's not, not 18.5 kilos. <sighs> thoughts are positive it's got three wheels sturdy wheels as well with some grip on them it's got two handles on this side and two handles on this side so people on both sides can use it to lift up um, for a 65 to 70 kilo tent um, that's really important uh, and that tent out there is rated at 65 kilos I think so uh, you know that's a lot of weight okay it opens up straight out like that, so you can roll your tent in and into the bag. You've got straps to help compress the, bag, the tent down. And you've got, okay this I like, I didn't know this was there, but you've got actually got metal reinforcements. So it's it's even more, it's less likely to bend and flex. So that's really nice. That's a nice addition. I wasn't expecting. Uh, yeah, it's got a decent fabric, um, solid fabric. It's the same type of fabric as the other bag, to be fair. It's just a thick uh, water-resistant um, uh, canvas. 
And what else? Let's have a look at the inside. It's got, it's got further straps on the outside, so that not only can you strap it in on the inside, but you strap it in on the outside as well, further compressing. So that maybe you've got separate tent poles uh, to the tent. Uh, you can still keep it nice and compact. Zip it all up. Okay, uh, the maximum height of this looks to be that tall. So it, any any tent that wide and that tall. So it's quite quite tall. Um, quite a large capacity bag. Okay. And we've got some got the same sort of rigid plastic under support but then you've got these corner supports as well, which is nicer than the bag that came with the tent. So, all in all, it looks pretty good. The porch has already gone down. We've already taken that down. But as you can see, it's nice and dry. The sun has been really lovely and hot and very obliging. As you can see, there we go, looking good. So I'm going to deflate this tent now. It's got these lovely flaps, and inside you've got a. I probably haven't sorted this out nicely, but you've got the um, the thing, and it's secured with this little jobby, and you just got this button. And you push the button. Can you see that? Yeah. And it's really straightforward. <laughs> Obviously not taking out all the air. Um, so you can use the deflate option on the pump to then suck the air out of the tube. So. Nozzle. in there and uh, come back in five minutes Actually, that's kind of kind of handy. Yeah. No, we can't put the poles in. We just. So is this actually bigger than? No. It's just that it's factory packed for that bag. I I don't see how that bag is useful. So well, we can use it for the other stuff. Okay, well, zip it up. And we haven't put the, the floors. No, those are going to have to go into a separate bag, love. <laughs>
We've got it in there, it's a saw. Uh, I think we could probably squish it down a lot more. Because certainly it came in a different size bag and all the rest, but you know, it's definitely uh, a lot of tent. Um, and this is a lot of bag. Um, but I'm not going to break my back using this bag to lift it, which is nice. Um, we'll have to figure out what we're going to do with the ground sheet, which we didn't get in here. And the poles. Or the poles, or the pegs, or the instruction manuals, or the, the pump. pump, or any of the <laughs> other stuff. Too bit decided. But we could get it in this bag, and that's you know the, the main tent anyway. And I mean, I'm sitting on it, and it's definitely squishing down slowly. So you know, maybe there's something to, uh, to to being patient with it. But um, I don't want to have to take this down in the middle of a thunderstorm. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's get on with the the rest of it. One-handed! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> what do you think about uh, Airbnb tent? Well, it's certainly lighter in terms of the beams and the, the poles uh it's still a lot of work to do the pumping but hey you could always get an electric pump for that I yeah think. yeah no um, idea but it's good workout though yeah it's, it's a good, really workout. good workout it's something that i can see definitely the kids having a lot of fun doing oh yeah we could do like um, one kid a uh, beam uh, well there so are you could there are in fact enough beams for that yeah so. yeah 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 <laughs> yeah i think, we've got I think that's a way of making it fun yeah, and mm -hmm. also not having to do quite so much work, but uh, <laughs> the um, you know it's it's obviously a huge tent. So one of the challenges we're probably going to face is flat terrain and trying to get a spot or a size that this is yeah. going to fit. Um, but we're up for the challenge. So this isn't always going to suit every circumstance or every uh, situation, but. I think we're probably going to be going for situations where it will, so we'll you know, be able to, we're, yeah. we're not exactly going to be, uh, you know, and hoiking it around, you know, in that bag. Yeah, because the bag is huge. So my biggest criticism right now, having just put it up, mm. is the bag is just mm. massive. Yeah. And, okay, practical, it's a massive tent, but the bag itself is a bit pants. It doesn't have enough handles. Yeah. And they're not well located. In my they feel quite flimsy as well. Well, the, I the have handles that there the are, are, are that there, there there are worse handles out mm. there, sure, but they're not they're not sturdy. Yeah, we got an airplane flying over. So I feel that you know if I I, I don't like the bag, um, I'm not going to do anything about it at this point in time with the money we spent on this tent. But <laughs> uh, you know it's it's something that I would want a better bag in future certainly mm. um something that warrants the incredibly heavy you know size of tent um you know something that's going to facilitate you know it does have wheels and that's nice but uh actually the wheels are pretty rubbish and it's got very little support it just basically it's a giant unsecured bag with no rigidity to it so it, it is really hard to man manhandle um yeah mm -hmm. um i don't know we're, we're sort of so why the polycotton? So polycotton, it's supposed to be cooler in the summer and warmer in the in the heat. It's supposed to be cooler in the heat and warmer in the cold, and that's because the fabric breathes. So I mean, I'm not a fabric expert. You are. Yeah, it, but, all, all yeah. fabric breathes. Yeah, but to a greater woven. extent, the polyester does, which is what most tents are made of. The other thing is it's more um, naturally water resistant, apparently. Mm -hmm. So. But it needs the weathering. You know, yeah, yeah, it? yeah. So the reading that I've done says you know put it out before you use it and mm -hmm. get it wet and let it dry and 
the process of the fabric getting wet and dry a couple of times um, improves its ability to then flex in the future. So when it does rain, it will swell. And when it's dry, it will shrink and allow more air through. So mm -hmm. that's kind of like the logic there. Okay. And, and it's, a, it's a more durable fabric as well. So this tent will last a lot longer. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah. Than uh, polyester tents, uh, you know, your cheaper sort of 100 pound tents or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, you're not going to get a massive tent like this for 100 pounds even with polyester, but. Um, you know, it, it, it is a, it is a nice fabric. It feels really nice. Um, you know, this this kind of it's it's more close to it's not shirting fabric per se, but it feels it feels sturdy. Um, I, I don't I I'd be hard pressed to imagine my kids tearing it accidentally when just running around. Whereas this, this small attempt. <laughs> the Coleman, the Coleman that we had before the fabric was um, a little bit. Each, um, you, you, get to, you get you get you get the edges, and and I mean I, I'm I'm sort of I'm appreciating the uh, what there is, all the zippers and the oh the zippers are pieces. incredibly sturdy. I, um, I thought you know they they have metal zippers in most places that I'm looking right now. Um, that's pretty good. Metal zippers makes me feel like you know it's going to be sturdy. The actual zips themselves are plastic, but the actual yeah, these are these are plastic uh, zip zips, but I guess you don't really want metal ones. No, it's extra it weight yeah, and extra stuff. Weight. Um, you know the the but the actual metal thingy is well, the actual zipper itself is metal, and then you've got plenty of catches and things Velcro for putting your uh, bits and pieces on, and you've got all mm -hmm. sorts of I don't know uses that we haven't thought of yet really, air vents and. Goodness. Well, we also have, we haven't put it up because it's still in the box, but we also have a, an extension porch thing. So, oh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. this I can go an extra, that. this can go an extra bit as well as what we already have. So, yeah. uh, and the extension bit, we got that because previously we had been looking to get an event shelter, which we use for our Normandy camping trip. And it was really lovely to have a space that wasn't within the tent that we could kind of just hang out in and yeah. cook in. Um, so we had been looking at event shelters. We had to return the one that we got at that time because it was absolute pants, basically. when It start, it was fine when it wasn't raining, but then when it started raining... The seams were leaking. The, the, rest of it, it? It was, the, the problem was also the poles with that one. Yeah, so, but I think did we do a video on that one? Yes, we did. Yeah, we did so, a video. So there's a video. Uh, uh, the video that. link is going to be like up here or <laughs> yeah. there or there or whatever. Um, but the, yeah. the the problem was the poles. Uh, so when we got it new, um, we put it up as you're supposed to do, and and that's a oh, good the idea. pole broke. And the pole broke. The pole yeah. broke. Well, no, but, it came out the bag. Go broken. check out that video because it's got all of the, the pole, details. The on pole that. came out of the bag broken. Yeah. And so I, we could. We basically were like, well, we need it for this weekend because I kind of waited a little bit too long to actually put it up. Um, so it was like, okay, I'm going to fix the pole. And if it's okay, whatever, we'll, we'll live. Um, and then it leaked when it rained. And then putting it down, another pole broke. Mm -hmm. So it was like, well, and these we poles are clearly very Amazon. dodgy. And, we bought it on yeah. Amazon, and Amazon has got really great return. Um, yeah, returns. Uh, it, we are Prime. We're Amazon Prime. I don't know what it's like for normal Amazon. Clicks, clicks, but, <laughs> but yeah, so, we, you know, so we were able to return it, and because we had actually recorded the process of putting it together and actually showing that the thing came out of the tent broken, uh, came out of the event shelter broken. So when we found out that this particular tent that we also liked had the option of buying an extension that's sort of like adding an event shelter we're like yeah no yeah, I mean, we'll get that let's try I that i think it's going to be a bit more than just an event shelter in terms of the extra extra space yeah but, mm -hmm. i mean we, we'll, we'll pull but it it's out. a space to hang we, out you know, in and to be fair when you're spending the kind of money that we have on this tent you know it's basically the cost of an event shelter on top of it to, to mm -hmm. have something straight in which you don't which you connect directly mm -hmm. to the tent you don't have to have as a separate thing and, and it, it's just one, one more 
living it's a cohesive living space so we'll, we'll see what that's mm-hmm. like later and on. we just for context we've got five kids and they are growing now the youngest twins are seven years old going on to eight uh, so our previous tent the last time that we went camping they seemed kind of small enough for us to squeeze in there but when we went camping to the lake district recently it was just too small. It's like the children had had growth spurs and it was very clear that going, like... yeah, so it was very clear uh, going forward that we needed to invest in a bigger tent because we do, we love camping and we enjoy camping. And in normal years, we would be camping twice um, a year, once in the UK and once in Europe. Um, but this year it's going to be uh, twice in the UK. So we've already done our Lake District camping trip and we're going to be off to Scotland, which is why we needed to set this tent up and to make sure that everything is okay with it. And the next step is... In good is... time, not like the week, a uh, couple of days before now. Yes, you know, yeah, but always do that with the tent, is, yeah. This is, this is the case of doing it in good time because we just, this is a new style. I mean, I've never done an Airbnb before. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it was awesome though. Yeah. Like it comes together so easily. And we were able to put it up just the two of us without the kids helping. Yeah, for something mm-hmm. this big as well. Yeah. It's a bit like um an outdoor revolution they do uh they do guarantee their air beams for life. Yeah. So that was a big selling point for me, mm-hmm. which is like I don't really trust this technology. But if you're gonna <laughs> if you're gonna you know, back it up with a lifetime guarantee, you know, that it won't pop and what have you from general normal use and yeah sure why not uh-huh. you know um it's uh you know so far so good yeah so we, far so good well so, anyway thank you so much for watching we hope that you found the video informative useful and entertaining and if you did give the video a big thumbs up down below if you haven't already uh, do subscribe the lifestyle channel so you know we just share bits and bobs of what we get up to as a large family with five kids and all of the things that come along with that until the next video we wish you all a blue skies good health and happiness take care now bye bye he's lying down so tired from recording a video because he never usually does that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>